Hi everyone, summer is here and it comes with dreaded frizz that makes our clients hair go crazy in our hair. As the temperature rise and the humidity levels are a little crazy in some parts of the US, um, like Texas, heck, even Minnesota, we have humidity levels in the 70s sometimes. So let's dive into the science behind why frizz happens and what we can do internally to the hair to repair it, and some surprising tips and tricks to combat the summer frizz. Frizz happens when the outer layer of the hair, known as the cuticle, lifts. It allows moisture into the center of the hair shaft. This moisture causes the hair to swell and twist, resulting in those unwanted flyaways and frizzy strands. High humidity levels really start smacking the problem around. By increasing the amount of moisture in the air, which the hair absorbs, leads to even more frizz. And studies have shown that high humidity levels specifically impact the hair's structure. When exposed to moisture, the hydrogen bonds in the hair break and reform, causing the hair to change shape and swell. This is why curly and wavy hair types are more prone to frizz. They have more hydrogen bonds, making them more reactive to moisture. If you like information like this sciencey stuff, then hit the subscribe button. Now, what's happen happening internally? To the hair. When hair is dry or damaged, the cuticle becomes raised and porous, making it more susceptible to absorbing that excess moisture. To combat frizz, it's essential to focus on strengthening and smoothing the hair from the inside of the hair. Here are some key steps. Regular deep conditioning treatments help to restore moisture and strength in the hair shaft. Look for products containing ingredients like peptides, panthenol, argan oil, and vitamin E. These penetrate the hair and provide long lasting hydration. I do have my favorites listed in the description for you to check out. I have natural wavy and frizz prone hair because my hair is so fine and this product has transformed my hair and a lot of my clients hair. Hair is made of protein, it inc so incorporating protein treatments can help reinforce the hair structure and reduce the frizz. Tell your clients to use these treatments sparingly, as too much protein can lead to brittleness. So I usually suggest this as a salon treatment that they can get every time they get their hair cut or colored, so about every six weeks or so. And then they don't even have to worry about doing this themselves at home, and let's face it, they don't usually do it at home anyway. They buy that that jug of uh, a hair mask and then they let it just sit on their counter. Recommend lightweight leave-in conditioners to your clients. These um, products provide a protective barrier against humidity and keep hair smooth throughout the day. Now, you should know your client's hair classification in order to recommend the right products that work every single time. If you are not familiar with hair classification, then do some research or you can enroll in my hair loss specialist course to learn this information because understanding your client's specific hair classification not only helps them love their hair products, but it's essential knowledge you can't afford to be without. And if you are watching this and you are a client and your stylist cannot tell you what type of hair classification you have, then you need someone a little bit more educated. People get really creative when it comes to taming frizz. So here are some unusual methods that your clients might have tried or might want to consider. Humidifiers. Now it might sound counterintuitive, but using a humidifier at home can actually help balance the moisture levels in the hair. When the air inside is too dry, it can strip the hair of its natural moisture, making it more prone to frizz. A humidifier adds just the right amount of moisture to keep the hair balanced when people are inside. Sleeping on a silk pillowcase um, reduces friction, preventing hair from becoming frizzy overnight. Silk or satin also helps retain the hair's natural oils, keeping it smoother and shinier. And the fact that if you are sleeping on a cotton pillowcase, it is sucking all the moisture out of your face too. 
Instead of using a regular towel, suggest your clients use a soft jersey knit t-shirt to dry their hair. The smoother fabric reduces friction and minimizes frizz. This one might surprise you, but sometimes clients use fabric softener sheets. Yes, those little sheets you toss in the dryer, they rub a sheet all over their hair to reduce static and smooth down flyaways. I do not recommend this because fabric sheets usually have some nasty ingredients in them and we don't want those toxic ingredients on our scalp. First of all, we have to educate your clients. Explain the science behind the frizz to your clients so they understand why it's happening and what they can do to prevent it. Knowledge is power. All of my clients have fine and thinning hair because that's what I specialize in. And a lot of times they will tell me that conditioners will make their hair flat. And I'm here to tell you that if you are suggesting the right products for their hair classification and giving them a regimen on how and when when they are supposed to use it. I sometimes even suggest reverse washing and it works great for a lot of my clients. Another thing that we need to do is encourage clients to use heat styling tools at a lower temperature to avoid further damage. Remind them to always use a heat protectant spray to shield their hair from the heat and to use the lowest setting. Clients want their hair to look great, so offer those treatments at every service. Don't wait until they have frizz and breakage and then offer them a treatment. With the right knowledge and tools, we can help our clients keep their hair smooth and frizz-free all summer long. That's it for this one. I would love your comments on videos you are looking for to help your clients. Leave them in the comments below.